Hey folks, Ben the Bondsman here. So I've been asked several times on my channel what kind of vehicle somebody should drive while they're bounty hunting. Now I know a lot of you guys, you like the uh, Chargers and the Challengers and the Crown Vicks and the, you know, sleek SUVs and cars with the blinky lights on them. But let me tell you, those cars with uh, that, that look like the police or look like undercover narcotics or the feds, they don't help you in this job. They don't help you at all in this job. I've heard some people make the argument that, uh, oh, well, you know, when I pull up, I want people to feel comfortable that, you know, it's not just some ragtag person coming up to their door, uh, this and that. Well, that's why we wear uniforms. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I wear a uniform more times than not, but that's a, a another video. This one's about vehicles. I have several different vehicles that I use for different types of pickups, but this is, I wanted to show you this one because this is one of my more universal vehicles. If you wanna move around relatively unnoticed, this vehicle is a perfect vehicle for that. I'll admit it's not my main vehicle that I use, but it has come in very handy when I do use it. Go get you something like a cheap work truck, a minivan, a small four-door car, something like that, and blend in. Get a vehicle that's easy for people to forget. You know, the only distinguishable feature on this truck is that headache rack, but I have to have that for my personal life. It's not for the work life. There's no lights on this truck. There's nothing that stands out as a law enforcement vehicle, a bail enforcement vehicle, or anything of the like. When I pull up to somebody's house, they probably think I'm there to sell them a new roof for their house or replace their gutters or mow their lawn. They're not thinking that a bail enforcement agent's about to step out of this vehicle. So I don't have that initial alert when I go knock on somebody's door if they saw me pull up. It doesn't matter what kind of vehicle you're in. If you're creeping around a neighborhood for a couple of hours, you're gonna get noticed. People are gonna start watching you and wondering what you're up to. They might even call the cops on you. But what they're not gonna do is they're not gonna assume you're there to pick up their buddy across the street that they know is hiding from bounty hunters and call and tip him off. And that's what's important to me. Don't get me wrong. I like the slick vehicles. I like the blacked out SUVs and the chargers and the challengers with the tinted windows and the lights on them. I think they're cool. I think they're neat, but I think they work against us in this job. You veteran bail enforcement agents out there, you know what I'm talking about. The cars don't help us. They work against us. This video is mainly for people that are new to the industry or the younger guys that have that blinky light itch that, you know, most of us had at some point in this career. And I know there's a couple of you out there that never did. That's fine. Most of us did. And most of the guys that I know at least did at one point because they're neat. I like the, I like the flashing and I like the, you know, sound of the strobes back when strobes was a thing, but it doesn't help us. And it's important to note too, that, since I got away from that stuff, since I took the lights out of the vehicles, I stopped buying law enforcement style vehicles. I've actually gotten a lot more cooperation out of law enforcement out in the field, whether it was me that called them or somebody else that called them. Their perception when they get out of their patrol car, when they pull up and the first thing that they see is a decked out police style vehicle with lights and laptop mounts and all this stuff that we don't typically use in our job then they treat us like wannabes that are out there doing something that we're not supposed to do. But when they get out of their vehicle and they just see somebody trying to do a job, they treat you accordingly. So take that for what it's worth. That's just my opinion. And over 20 years of doing this job, I noticed a dramatic difference. Anyway, that's all for now. Ben the Bosman signing out. And remember, Bell Bonin isn't what we do. It's who we are.